There is no greater responsibility than to safeguard the life and rights of a child. We take this responsibility to heart. Children living in developing countries are especially vulnerable to abuse. This can be in the form of child labor, early enforced marriages, physical violence, or sexual exploitation. Our organization works with some of the world's poorest countries where we help improve the quality of life for children, their families, and communities. However, with these efforts comes a great responsibility because our access to children and youth may potentially expose them to harm. We believe that all children have the right to survival, healthy development, protection from harm, and the right to participate in family, cultural, and social life. That's why we have developed ways to screen and monitor every person who may interact with the children in our programs. Our child protection policy was created to explain the actions we take in order to prevent and respond to child abuse. We are careful about who we work with. All staff members undergo a formal background screening to ensure there is no history of past harm toward children. Partner organizations we work with on the ground are also diligently screened. Our staff are trained on how to prevent, recognize, and report abuse. We are also working to make sure that children can recognize, protect themselves from, and report abusive behavior. Our reporting procedure makes it safe and easy to handle unconfirmed and confirmed incidents of abuse. Because most of our funding comes from individual sponsors, we closely monitor all communication between child sponsors and children. In fact, we never give out any child's direct contact information. If a sponsor wants to visit their sponsored child, this is arranged entirely through our organization, and visits are supervised by our staff. Our child protection policy underscores our commitment to keep children safe from harm. Working together, we can protect the children and youth we are entrusted to support.